We spoke about this guy before, haven't we? Do it by your feet. If your feet are on side, you're on side. Forget all your body and your shoulder. Well, you, you say that. That's exactly what happened last night. <laughs> <laughs> his feet were his feet were quite clearly um, the defenders' feet, I should say, were quite clearly playing Diaz um, on side. It was it was a it was a cock up, and it, it, scrap, it was a- scrap the air, scrap it. <laughs> Spurs Liverpool match was um, extraordinary in many ways, wasn't it? Uh, I think it's fair to say that um, Liverpool didn't get the best of the decisions. I mean, the VAR was, um, I mean, we were led to believe that it was just a moment of panic um, in the VAR hub. I mean, the one thing I'll say is we, we all know and recognise that refereeing is a very, very difficult job um, on the field. And we thought that with VAR, it will, will help them. And I'm, I'm sure overall it has done and does recognise certain, as they call it, clear and obvious ever, errors um, between. Um, so it ultimately, human beings will still make mistakes. And if there's, if, even if it goes to VAR, they're still human beings and they will get things wrong. And, and in this case, it was obviously a, a clear human error, a moment of panic and, and stuff. And, um, and it, it does kind of... What from that you will have less kind of trust um, in the system, and and fa- as we all know that fans think that there's conspiracies against their particular clubs and all this kind of stuff, and I'm sure we all know that the referees are, are, are trying their best and doing an honest job, and that applies to VAR, and probably no one apart from probably all Liverpool fans and their players and their manager will be more upset than I imagine the the two VAR officials who. They know they they know they've got it wrong, but footballers make mistakes too. After you know a day of sort of just having a little bit of calm and reflecting and look at the context, you know, in the in the whole picture of everything. Yes, they did make a mistake, but it's not the end of the world. They come out straight away and give the apology, and, <laughs> and of course, the apology no. is not going to mean anything to Liverpool fans. But at least they owned up and owned the situation and they didn't try and sort of brush it under the carpet. And we are humans. We make mistakes. I think Al did a really good point though um, yesterday. It was not just the VAR. It was more... My, my problem was it was the assistant VAR. You know, so if, if someone messes up, you've got your assistant to bail you out. But it's almost like... It's just gone through a chain of wrong decision. So I have got sympathy with them just because they made a mistake. But I just believe they are... They're not helping themselves, possibly. What is in the right way of putting it? It's too... It's too because we've all been on VAR saying it's taken too long it. for them to make decisions, they're trying to make the correct decision too quickly just take a breath if it takes another 20 seconds to get to the right decision that's all you have to do most fans would probably particularly those that go to the stadium would probably say absolutely let's ban it and go back i still think it can be a good thing um i'm sometimes get very frustrated by it and think you know how can you make such mistakes and it would perhaps be better um without it because you know we'd we'd still analyze mistakes but you kind of you can be a little bit more forgiving if a referee makes an error than perhaps someone that's then shown 20 replays of a decision i think most of the time they probably get it right but i think what would if you know because the truth is it's Whatever we think, it's it's not going to be scrapped. They've invested way too much in it. It's worldwide. They've spent fortunes on it. And and I think overall, you'll get more correct decisions. But what I, what I think, sorry, Alan, what I think will help, we need communication. We need the fans to hear the communication, the talk between the referee on the field and the VAR people. And then I think people will understand it a little bit more. And we've hear it in other sports. It works perfectly well. I do not understand why we're not hearing the conversations um, between referees 
and, and the VAR, and then they can be calmer about things. Everyone will want to listen. It will also make more entertainment, and that's what it's ultimately football should be. It's a sport. It should be entertaining for people. Um, and I think that would, would seriously help things, and I still do not understand why it's not taking place. I would... Yeah, I'd scrap it. Goal line technology, obviously keep, but VAR is it's just become a nonsense. Offsides, would you keep? Yeah, we, we've discussed the offsides. The mm. we could have the semi-automated ones if if we really wanted to. But I just think if you if you do it by your feet, we spoke about this guy before, haven't we? Do it by your feet. If your feet are onside, you're onside. Forget all your body and your shoulder. Well, you, you say that. That's exactly what happened last night. <laughs> <laughs> his feet were his feet were quite clearly um, the defender's feet, I should say, were quite clearly playing Diaz um, onside. It was it was a it was a cock up and it, it, it scrap was a- scrap VAR. Scrap it. <laughs> 